Hello, this is Angela Anderson. Thanks for joining me for this acrylic painting tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to paint a very simple little mini landscape. Let's get started. All right, we're going to be using a five by five inch canvas today. This is our mini canvas autumn series. Um, thanks for joining me for this. Uh, let me go over my color palette. I've already kind of painted one today. <laughs> we're painting these ahead of time. Uh, normally I do these live, but uh, we're painting a few a little ahead of time here to be recorded. All right, so this one is burnt umber, burnt sienna, quinacridone magenta, pyrrole orange, Indian yellow hue, uh, yellow, uh, cadmium yellow light, cobalt teal, ultramarine blue, unbleached titanium, and titanium white. All right, so the landscape, super simple. Um, I haven't done anything to the canvas. Um, I actually took this photograph out my car window. Don't recommend doing that, but, you know, sometimes you can't stop. And there's something pretty to see. So there's this little part that sticks out into the water here in our town. We drive by it and I'm going to kind of alter the background here because it's so straight and it's even with this. So I think I'm going to make this a little taller and make this a little smaller and push that um, away a little bit. And then there's this big red tree right here that is the main star of the show. Okay, so that's it. And then we'll have a little bit of reflections here and a little bit of clouds in the sky. Uh, let me see, for my brush, I think I will use a filbert. I'm going to grab a six filbert for this. Just kind of a medium sized filbert. And we'll start with our lightest values up in the sky. So I'm going to get some of the Indian yellow hue and cadmium yellow light and some white. And we will put in some of those clouds that are up here. And I'm painting fairly juicy today on these small canvases. They go really quickly. So I'm um, just going to use kind of juicy brush strokes. I'm also seeing some of this color in my tree over here and over here. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of that in where I see it, a little bit maybe in the water that might be reflected, and that looks good. Okay, so now to my next color, I'm gonna get like a little bit of an orangey tone that would be like the next one over from that, maybe a little bit of magenta and pyrrole orange added to my yellow, and then I'm going to use that. I just realized I don't have my reference photo out and I'm trying to look at it on a little tiny <laughs> guess it would help if I had a bigger picture oh much easier to see what I'm painting <laughs> that helps yeah okay <laughs> I'm like what color is that <laughs> it's literally this small on my on my screen <laughs> oh well Okay, so adding a little bit of orangey to my sky, and I'll start adding a little orange to my tree, even though we're going to be painting other things around him, but that'll give us a head start, I guess. Why not? Okay. And then our next color would be kind of a magenta. I'm going to add make sure I clean out my brush really well so that I don't have a, any of that orange in there because I'm going to add a little bit of blue to make it sort of purple toned. Forgot to turn off my phone. Okay. Here we go. I'm um, going to get a little bit of unbleached titanium just to make it a little bit softer color and use that up here at the top of my sky and I've put in my other colors thick enough that they're still a little bit wet so they'll blend with it a little bit and this filbert makes it fairly easy to get kind of that cloud like texture I'm gonna get a little bit more of my magenta and just kind of put in some of that if it goes on too dark, make sure you add a little bit of white. I mixed it in with my white and yellow here, so it is not magenta straight up. This has got a little softened color here. Okay, 
That looks pretty good. And then the bottom area here, we're going to have some blues. I'm going to get my cobalt teal, just a little bit of the ultramarine blue, and my white. And we're going to do that along the bottom of our horizon line here. And I'm going to go underneath where I think I need to be so that I have room to put my trees on top of my sky. So I'm kind of covering up my tree area a little bit so that I have room to move my sky in. All right, so now we just have to transition these two areas here. And I think I'm gonna to switch to a smaller brush because this brush is a little bit big. So I'm gonna get a 3 8 inch blender and get a little bit more of my cobalt teal and ultramarine blue, kind of almost 50-50 here. And a little bit of white and that just kind of makes it go on more opaque. And there we go, get a little bit brighter color in my sky here. Okay, wiping that out, getting some white. And that white had some yellow in it, but that's okay, because I was going to add yellow anyway. So a little bit of white with a little, little bit of yellow, and I'm going to kind of transition between these two colors. I'm just going to tap over any of the transition areas very lightly. I'm not going to try to blend. I'm just kind of tapping a little bit of this color on it. There we go. Softening up that sky. All right. <clears throat> then let's add some more of this yellow. A little bit more white. I want it a little bit softer than I had it originally. And now I'm going to go over the blue just a little bit. And I don't want to pick up too much of that blue, though, so if it picks up a lot of it, be sure to wipe off your brush frequently. I'm going to blend that yellow back over everything and just make some little fluffy clouds. If you make green, that's okay. Just going to get a little bit more white. And again, kind of clean off your brush a little bit more often, maybe to keep it from picking up that blue. Or you can just wait for your blue to dry completely, but I'm not doing that, so. <laughs> it's doing all right. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna wipe that out and get a little bit more of my magenta. Mix that with my yellow. And go back in here and add my magenta back in. That seems a little bit bright, so I might wipe that out and get a little bit of white. Add a little bit of white. The white will kind of mute it, mute it, mute the color a little bit, so not so bright. I'm missing Mark right now to say, are you talking about me? <laughs> Whenever I say not so bright. Hopefully we're chatting with you guys and getting to enjoy to chat. I'm looking forward to getting to chat with everybody. I don't get to chat with y'all when I'm painting live, so this will be fun to get to chat with you while we're watching the video. All right, that looks good. So we've got our little sky. Whoa, I hope I was still on camera there. I wasn't paying attention. Um, I think I'm going to lighten up the blue right at the horizon line. I like to do that. It always gives it kind of a sense of a depth there to have a little bit of lighter blue right at the horizon line. So I'm going to do that. And that will also kind of blend into our trees a little bit. Wipe out that brush once I kind of put that light blue down. And I'm just going to use that dry brush to kind of smush that paint around. If you've got any of the darker blue left, you can kind of use that to blend it out but that looks good okay there we go let's get some green in here so I'm gonna get the cobalt teal and my Indian yellow hue Ooh, look at that how pretty that green is 
So nice bright green. I'm gonna get a little bit of orange. That's gonna dull that green. I'm gonna add the orange and the cobalt teal and the yellow. Make a dark, dark kind of neutral green. And then I'm gonna make get a burnt or burnt umber, ultramarine blue. and some of the cadmium yellow light and make a green there. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with this dark kind of blue, maybe even a little bit more blue, dark blue along my shoreline back here. And I'm just going to tap in around where I want my trees to be. I'm gonna kinda of come up on this side a little bit. Go up and down there, looks good. The softer I kinda of tap, as long as I have enough paint on my brush, I should get these little tiny wispy marks and that's kinda of what I want. All right, I'm gonna get some yellow, a little bit of white, and just tap in a little bit over the top there. Let's get some of this bright green. Do some of that and some of these. And this background green is still a little bit wet, so it's gonna blend with it. We can kind of get a better, more drastic, um, reaction if we wait a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and grab some of the cobalt teal. I still had a little bit of that green on my brush. Cobalt teal and a little bit of white. I'm just going to use that to do my water. I'm just going to kind of use a little bit of that dark color to blend out right at the shoreline there and pull down a little bit into my water. And then Wipe that brush out. Get a little bit of the ultramarine blue and cobalt teal. I'm going to use that down here. I'm not worried about my oranges and stuff. We'll put that back in later. Getting some blue on the canvas. And keep these horizontal. Okay, that looks good. All right, let's do these big trees that are back here. Get, I'm gonna get some magenta and burnt orange. I'm sorry, make a burnt orange with burnt sienna and magenta, and then add a little bit of burnt, uh, burnt umber to darken it up. All right, so I'm gonna do a nice big tree right in here, this color, bright reddish magenta. That'll be kind of that background tree that's right in this area. Wipe that out. Grab some yellow. And some burnt orange, burnt umber, I mean, burnt sienna and yellow. And do a tree right here like that. In my picture, there's green behind these, so they're kind of a little bit darker, but I'm going to just use the darker yellow to tint that, and I'm going to add some of this yellow in my tree back here. Okay. 
that out. And then get the pyrrole orange and cadmium red, or pyrrole orange or cadmium red light plus the magenta. This will be my red tree that's right in here. And then I'm going to use some of that darker magenta that we already did for that tree in my dark areas of that. Okay, and then use this in the water. Get that brighter yellow, some white, cadmium yellow light here. Dab in some of that. And then right in my water here. Okay, then right here, this is kind of a rocky shoreline, so I'm going to get some burnt umber and some ultramarine blue and some unbleached titanium and just mark out that shoreline that's going to stick jutting out right there. Just a dark gray. Might get a little bit of magenta and add that so it's slightly purple. And add that color to the water too. Okay. All right, let's add some of this green here. Actually, we had that green that we mixed up over here. Let's grab some of that, and I'm gonna use that in these trees right here. Just kind of tap in at the base of these taller trees and right up to the shoreline. And then use that color in the water too. Okay. Um, so far so good let's go ahead and add some reflections in our water we need to make sure we dry this completely first though All right so let's add some highlights and things now this will really make it come together so I'm gonna get some of the cobalt teal and some white and add some reflections to my water so I'm just gonna kind of go across very lightly And let some of that background color show through. You want to make sure that this is completely straight back here, there and here where we do the foreground water. Go ahead and add some more teal in this area. I'm going to get some blue, ultramarine blue, and the cobalt teal, and just a little bit of yellow. mimic the colors in our trees there. Okay, let's get some white and some bright green, cobalt teal and cadmium yellow light and white. I'm gonna put in some brighter green for these trees in here. I'm going to kind of 
adjust the shape there a little bit. Maybe a little bit of this blue in the trees. There we go. The lighter color in the background will kind of make those look a little farther away too. I'm just kind of desaturating those a little bit so they look a little farther back using a little bit more of a blue-green in some of the highlights. There we go. And I'm going to use some blue, ultramarine blue. Yeah, that in some of my shadow areas. that shoreline a little bit. All right, that looks better. It looks a little farther away. They were just looking a little too bright, I think. So let's go ahead and use some of this color in these foreground trees here too. Ultramarine blue and unbleached titanium. I'm gonna kind of pull some lines down for the rocks that are right there. A little bit of this color in the water. Remember, we're trying to keep this simple, so I'm not going too detailed with it. Getting some of my green. If I use the Indian yellow, I'll get it like a deeper, more mossy green. I'm going to use some of that right down by the waterline. Coming out a little bit in my trees. Okay, and then I need a darker color underneath there, so I'm going to get a little bit of burnt umber, unbleached tight, or burnt sienna with my cobalt teal. I'm gonna use that. Let me get a smaller brush. Just a darker green right at the waterline right there. Ultramarine blue and burnt umber will be your darkest two colors so you can use those to darken up anything else that you need darker. Right there though. Just want a little bit darker color coming out. I want this to kind of angle out a little bit right there. Okay, that looks good. Let's use that darker color to put in some tree trunks. Here you can't really see much. Okay, that looks good. All right, let's get some white. Skipping some white along the shoreline there. Get us some highlights in the water. And I think I want the the blue here to be a little bit more muted like the sky, so I'm gonna get a little bit of that cobalt teal with the ultramarine blue and just add some of that down here so it's not so bright. Okay. 
go back to this smaller brush here and we'll put our final little details in on our trees and things. So get some of that Indian yellow hue, maybe some cadmium yellow light, some white, and I'm going to use that down here. Just a little bit. And then I'll put some back in back in here. Tap in very, very lightly in the water. get that Indian yellow hue color, maybe a little bit of orange. Tap those in, tap it into the water, pulling it side to side so that it looks kind of blurry. All right, let's get some magenta. I'm going to keep this color on my brush, so I'm just adding to what I have. I'm going to add a little bit of highlight on this bush. Add a little bit of red down here. And anytime I add a new color, up top I want to use it in my water too. So that looks pretty good. Okay, get some more of this brighter red that was in this tree. And I'm gonna make kind of an orangey color, maybe just the orange and some white. Maybe a little bit of yellow with it. Okay. can do is use like a flat brush and your highlight color. I don't have any white left. Let me get some white. Press that brush flat so it's got a good edge. And then I can use it and just tap it in my water. Make sure I'm keeping these horizontal obviously. But if I go over the top of my reflections, it kind of pushes those back, makes them look like they're water. It's kind of a neat little trick. But again, make sure you keep them kind of horizontal, otherwise it loses the effect and kind of looks wrong. You don't need too many of these to make it make it work. get a little bit of the blue and unbleached titanium here. Go in and highlight some of the rocks. Get a little bit of the yellow and put a little color on this moss that's right at the shoreline.
All right, I think we're gonna call that good. Fun little project, right? Not too, not too bad. And that'll look nice up on a, a shelf at, uh, you can put that just about anywhere, right? It's just the right size for just a little pop of color. Feels like autumn. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.